The country ready to mark the one year anniversary this week of the murder of George Floyd. As we all remember, Floyd died under the knee of a police officer in a case that brought the issue of racism to the forefront. There will be rallies and marches in Minneapolis where this murder transpired starting today. And ABC Zachary Keish is right there with much more. Zachary, good morning to you. <clears throat> Dan, good morning to you as well. You know, the, the markers in this field are a painful reminder of the price of progress in this country. Some of their names are known. Some of their stories have never been told. You know, George Floyd lived a life as an ordinary black man. But in his passing, he's been able to do something that most have not. He's been able to transcend the barriers that stand between us. And he's been able to elevate important conversations. A year ago this week, Minneapolis was on fire. Entire buildings, and in some cases, blocks. Hearts were broken, and any sense of innocence the city had was lost. The power of the people don't stop. What shattered in May of 2020 was the willingness to accept that things were okay. Well, I was feeling pretty much just frustrated, scared to a certain extent. I'm thinking about my children. George Floyd, a 46 year old black man killed by the police over an alleged misdemeanor offense, sparked a movement an unapologetic recalibration about how we think about race and a critique on those empowered to provide safety. I come to tell you, America, this is the time of dealing with accountability in the criminal justice system. When George Floyd cried out, Mama, and when he called out, people from all over the nation came. And those people showed up here. George Floyd's death was different. It was undeniable. Nobody could ignore what that cell phone video said about us. That the world. In an interview with Eva, Floyd's giving heart and fight for others was so evident in his daughter. I know what I want to be when I grow up. What? I want to be, I want to be a doctor. You want to be a doctor? Mm-hmm. That's a lot of school. <sighs> mm-hmm. I'll take care of people. Right here in the Twin Cities, but also on both coasts and eventually the globe. Through the fire, through the grief, the black community found its footing and found allies. People have to want change and have to be willing to sacrifice some privilege and talk about the things that are uncomfortable. Last month, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was convicted of murder. His abuse of power has had far-reaching impacts on policing here and around the country. In Minneapolis, budgets were cut policies revisited, and the idea of safety and security were reimagined. Out of necessity, Minneapolis has become a place of healing and introspection. That hopefully one day our world will change and that there, there will be and still will be, continue to be blind justice. I really want that to happen before I die. Progress is hard to measure, but we do know that it's often birthed from a very painful place. There's a lot of healing happening here in Minneapolis and around the country this week. We also know that President Biden is scheduled to host George Floyd's family at the White House on Tuesday. Dan. Well said. Progress often comes out of pain. Zachary Keish, thank you very much. I want to remind you, do not miss our Soul of a Nation special after Floyd, the year that shook the world. Our very own Janae will be a part of this important program. That's Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.